I know what you're thinking. I'm making a movie about Pittsburgh. But not that Pittsburgh. This Pittsburgh. I came back to the Pittsburgh that's been called America's most livable city. The city that filled America with its steel, from the Empire State Building to the Golden Gate Bridge. The city that cured polio and invented everything from aluminum to the Big Mac. But don't take it from me. Take it from America's foremost historian, who just happened to go to my high school, David McCullough. And of course, among the many firsts of Pittsburgh, the first gas station, the movie theater, Heinz Ketchup, Daylight Savings Time, Bingo, a Ferris wheel, the first billion dollar corporation, the first radio station, the first public television station, the Carnegie Library, the banana split, and the first and only whiskey rebellion. You can't kill Pittsburgh. If anything happened that Pittsburgh died as a city, the entire North American continent would shrivel because this is still the heart of America. I have great skepticism that we're going to come out of a fish from these waters. Oh, here we go, fishing in Pittsburgh. Oh my gosh, look what we got. I think we have lunch. Or, it's, oh, I can't eat you. You're so nice. It's Finding Nemo in Pittsburgh. <laughs> No, it's a catfish. Ah! Okay, so um, we're, we're back in Los Angeles, and the question is, is will there be people there 24 hours from now? Will anyone from Pittsburgh actually show up on a Sunday for no other reason than just to say, hey, we're from Pittsburgh? Together again.